Hi there, this is Josh, and today I'm going to be doing the Fall Time Cozy Time tag. Uh, I was tagged by Karen from A Simple Cup of Tea. Uh, she is an extraordinary booktuber who is just beginning, but she's gaining ground very fast and rightfully so, because personality is very engaging and entertaining. So I appreciate the tag, Karen. Already, there are seven questions, and we shall begin with number one, uh, Crunching Leaves. The world is full of color. Choose a book with red, orange, or yellow on the cover. I'm going to do all three. And the book is Ghost Road Blues by Jonathan Mayberry. There's a uh, yellow uh, in the, uh, the sunset sky. You have a little bit of an orange uh, mixed with a bit of red, and... Uh, the uh, letters on the cover are definitely red. I really enjoyed this book, so it was a good selection for this particular tag. Uh, Jonathan Mayberry, uh, I'm part of uh, the Speculative Fiction Writers Club that he has interacted uh, with at. I heard a lot of great things about him and how he's a very modest individual. Uh, and I myself uh, have also slightly interacted with him. Uh, he liked some of my Facebook statuses in uh, a mutual group page that we were part of. So. And this is part of a series that I may check out the rest of. Uh, we shall see. Next is Cozy Sweater. It's finally cool enough to don warm, cozy clothing. What book gives you the warm fuzzies? That is a pretty challenging one, but I'm going to double dip from the cookie book tag and choose Open Ground, Selected Poems 1966-96 to by Seamus Heaney. The works I set, the, the poems in here just gave me that homely kind of feeling, and I would say that uh, it also gives me the warm fuzzies, uh, thinking about something so earthy, but so enriching. Next one is Fall Storm. The wind is howling and the rain is pounding. Choose your favorite book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day. Honestly, I feel that I just like to read on a stormy day. It doesn't really matter what it is. I really don't look at the genre or uh, the particular author, but I will say that something that makes me think of A Stormy Day is uh, the Millennium Trilogy, uh, the uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, particularly The Girl Who Played with Fire because I was reading this during Hurricane Sandy, which it uh, hit uh, my home state of New Jersey and there were so many other people that uh, lost a lot. We were fortunate enough to not lose too much. We lost power for about a week, but we didn't lose anything dire. But the girl who played with fire was what I was reading, and I got a nice amount of it done. And I really enjoyed the trilogy, especially the girl with the dragon tattoo and the girl who played with fire. They both made it high up on my top ten in each year I read them, 2011 and 2012. The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, I thought, was pretty good. Both of these were five stars. Uh, Hornet's Nest was four. And Lisbeth Salander is just a remarkable protagonizing character. Next one is Cool Crisp Air. What's the coolest character you'd want to trade places with? Which... Honestly, I must say that the answer that I give now is going to be different if I get a question that is somewhat similar in the future, but I guess today I'll choose Robert Langdon from uh, Angels and Demons in the Da Vinci Code because he just seemed to have such a cool background and he was placed in some really intriguing situations. 
The next one is coats, scarves, and mittens. The weather has turned cold and it's time to cover up. What's the most embarrassing book cover you own that you'd like to keep hidden in public? Which, I really don't hold much shame as to what I'm reading. I tend to dance to my own tune. But if I had to choose one, it would probably be Ruby for Jungle by Rita Mae Brown, which I thought was a good book. I just really, the, the cover, it was a flower that looked a bit like a, like a certain body part. Uh, I read it uh, based off of a recommendation from Lily on the show, and uh, we went over this particular novel for Lily's birthday episode. I gave Lily the book because she didn't own her own copy, so. The next one is pumpkin spice. What's your favorite fall time comfort food or foods? And I would probably say, just like with number three, I really don't hold any uh, restrictions as to what I eat because I like to eat anything on a nice fall day. But if I had to choose, it would be uh, for a meal, a homemade soup, and for a snack, some shortbread cookies. And I enjoy shortbread cookies around Christmas as well. Number seven, warm, cozy bonfire. Spread the cozy warmth. Who do you tag? Already then, I'm going to be tagging five people. First, uh, Caroline from Caroline the Reader. She's a brand new uh, booktuber. Uh, she just released her pilot and she plans to do more. I really like her channel. She's, she's got a great personality and we've interacted on Goodreads prior and she's just a great, enthusiastic and determined person. So I highly suggest uh, that you check out her channel and I also uh, encourage you, Caroline, to complete this tag when you're ready to do so. Also, uh, Claire from The Book Fox, another outstanding booktuber. Brock from Let's Read, also an outstanding booktuber. Tony from Tony Lynn, same can be said, excellent. And finally, someone who I think is superb, Kelsey from Literary Gladiators. Kelsey, if you were looking to do something for your next individual video, uh, I encourage you to do this. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, keep reading.